Welcome to Swift Studios and today we are going to create a wave animation which will look like this so this is our wave animation and today we are going to make this so open your animate cc and create an action script 3 file and first thing is I want to rename this layer into line so after that I will create a line in the middle of the stairs <coughs> we will change the stroke to 5 so this is a red line with stroke 5 now I will make another line of black color so I'll choose this black and change this y value to 20 so now again I will copy this line and paste in place and change the value of y to 100 and again I will paste this in place and change the value of y to 180 so you will get these four lines three of them are black and one is red so I will change this black line to I will change this black line to green and I will change this red line to black so now after that you can lock this layer called line and create a new layer and name this layer wave so in here we are going to create our wave so choose line and choose fill red fill for that line now draw a line and bend this with select tool after you do that you can copy that and paste in center now go to modify and transform and flip particle so you'll get this drag this and join the two ends of the line and you'll get something like this now you can copy this and paste this in place and again match the two ends heads and tails of those lines now convert those to symbol convert to symbol and press ok so now go to frame 1 now we don't need this layer so delete that and go to frame 1 and create a classic twin and in frame 30 insert keyframe and move that line or curvy line in such a place that it its tail and head meet so like that you can see the tail and the head meeting and when you play it will look something like this now I will copy this layer and create paste this layer in here so now when you play this looks similar because these are the copy of same layer now what I'm going to do with this layer is click on to this layer at frame 1 and move the symbol so that its tail and head meet at same point so this is our tail and and it will look like this now again what I'm going to do is click in frame 30 and move this backward so it matches the tail and head again in this side so this is our tail and this is our head now it will look something like this so you can see it uh, taking a form of a wave now go back and press ctrl enter and you will get this wave so right now it it looks too fast now change the length of the twin to 100 and press ctrl enter now you can see the wave is slower in here I think 70 will be a good 
wave good speed for the wave so let's remove these frames right click and remove frames now this looks fine now what I'm going to do is let's save this first go to file and save as and go to desktop and create a new folder called web animation and open this and save this file now press control enter and it will automatically create a SWF file in that folder so this is our folder this one is the first folder from the beginning and here is our web animation from beginning and this one is the second folder that we just created and here is our web animation so now the first wave is done and second wave is left so this is very simple and we are going to create that now for the second wave create another layer and name this layer into layer separator SCPERATOR and again create another layer and drag that layer down now copy those two wave layer from above and paste it on layer 4 now you can delete this layer 4 and you can see four layers with the name wave which is almost which is same and copy now click on the first frame of the layer as shown and drag the layer down just press shift and press down 20 times now go to first layer of the fifth layer first frame of the fifth layer and do the same thing again pull down those symbols until they match the ends they match the edges do here with do that with frame 1 and 30 of all four frames now you'll get something like this and when you press control enter you'll get a wave like this now what you can do is click on the layer separator and create a white rectangle like this one and convert this to symbol copy this and paste this and drag that to the other side now press ctrl enter and you'll get something like this which is our second animation so let's compare our animations this one is the, from the beginning and this one is the one that we just created so you can see our animation is complete and this much for this video and I'll see you in next video so let's close all this and see you in next video